Hello. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell to receive updates when we upload new videos. Watch the video until the end to see the interior shots, exterior shots, and the full review. At some point in March motorists begin to feel the urge to take to the roads in a convertible. Volkswagen has recently added a lifestyle-oriented version to its range, the T-Roc Cabriolet will celebrate its official market launch in German dealerships from March 20 onwards. The open-top version of the successful T-Roc represents a dynamic vehicle concept, with a slightly raised seat position, a bold design and a perfect compromise between modern technology, comfort and driving pleasure. The central feature is the vehicle's fully automated soft top which opens in just 9 seconds, even when traveling at speeds of up to 30 km per hour. The 2020 Volkswagen T-Roc Cabriolet is a drop-top version of the company's subcompact crossover. Launches two years after the coupe regular version, the 2020 T-Roc Cabriolet isn't just a T-Roc with a soft top, it also features only two doors instead of four. What's more, the soft top has a sleeker design, so the cabriolet looks sportier than its standard sibling. Inspired by the Nissan Murano Cross Cabriolet and the Range Rover Evoque convertible, the 2020 T-Roc Cabriolet is Volkswagen's only small convertible to date after the discontinuation of the Beetle. The soft top and the revised shape of the roof are the only features that set the 2020 T-Roc Cabriolet apart from its standard sibling. The bodywork and the interior are similar, as is the technology package. They're identical under the hood as well, although the 2020 T-Roc Cabriolet doesn't yet feature the more powerful gas engines. Volkswagen doesn't offer diesel mills for this model either. Let's find out more about this bold convertible in the review below. The T-Roc Cabriolet is essentially identical to the regular T-Roc below the waist. There is a big difference though, the T-Roc Cabriolet is a two-door vehicle, whereas the standard crossover is a five-door model. Yes, I know, a two-door T-Roc and a four-door Cabriolet would be cool as well, but we can't have these versions. Volkswagen stuck to a two-door convertible only, and this is a good decision in the big picture, as four-door drop tops aren't common or popular. But is the Cabriolet any different from the Coupe as far as size goes? Surprisingly enough, the drop top is actually a bit longer. While convertibles are usually just as long and sometimes shorter, the cabriolet is a few inches longer. Specifically, the regular T-Roc measures 4,234 mm (166.7 inches), while the cabriolet comes in at 4,268 mm (168 inches). That's an extra 34 mm (1.3 inches) for the drop top. The same goes for the wheelbase. The Cabriolet's measures 2,630mm while the Coupe's is 2,596mm That's an extra 34mm for the convertible, so this is where the extra length goes. The lower profile of the T-Roc Cabriolet is quite common for convertibles. That's because drop-top vehicles have lowered windscreens. This is mostly a design feature, as to not look weird with a bubbly soft top, but it also helps with aerodynamics while the top is down. The waistline remains similar to the coupe, but there are no B and C pillars. The soft top is pretty standard and seems similar to that of the old Golf Cabriolet when in place, it changes the T-Roc stance dramatically. Not only the windscreen is smaller, but the roof sits lower where the top of the B pillar should be. Likewise, the rear section is also lower while the rear window is slanted heavily toward the deck lid. All told, the T-Roc Cabriolet looks sleeker and sportier with the top up and downright sexy with the soft top folded in the trunk. Just like the regular T-Roc, the Cabriolet is available with a variety of options and packages, so it's just as customizable. Go with the style specification, and you'll get extras focused on design. The standard 17-inch wheels are replaced with more stylish Mayfield rollers, but you can also opt for 19-inch rims. Go with the R-Line specification, and Volkswagen adds sportier bumpers and standard fog lamps.
Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Subscribe to Auto TV.